Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. Welcome back to another unboxing video. Now you can check the link within this video's description to find where you can order this online, but this is a digital anemometer. And that's just a fancy way of saying a thing that'll measure uh, wind speed. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get in here and see what we got. First thing I notice is a very nice case, very high quality, and it's got a uh, strap on there. So if you wanted to maybe put it around your belt or something along those lines, you probably could. And then we've got uh, the anemometer itself. Nice, uh, nice tactile feel to it, and you can see on the sides it's got a kind of a plasticky, grippy area. That blue color piece. It's nice to hold in your hands. Just a good, uh, good build quality here. And then there's this top part right here. It's got a little. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's your owner's manual. Tells you what all the functions do. Wind speed and temperature measurement, wind chill indication, Celsius or Fahrenheit, different wind speed measurement unit, measure wind speed in current, average, or max, low battery warning, that's nice, so you know if you, if you need to replace the battery before you go out in the field. LCD backlight, and then manual auto power off. So this is the the documentation that came with it. So this is definitely something I'll put uh, I'll put in uh, I'll keep with it so I've got it for reference. Triple A battery, two triple A batteries, and I bet those probably aren't included. So let's uh, let's open this up here. Uh, it actually uses a screwdriver to add the batteries. So good thing is I do have a screwdriver and I do have batteries. Let me get that for us here. Sean Curry. He said he likes anemometers. Hey, Sean Cooner, you're going to have to move for a second. So we're filming an unboxing video. Yep, sorry. Um, so what we're going to do is unscrew these two. Uh, yeah, you're, you're going to have to move. Sorry. Move just for a minute. There we go. So we're going to unscrew these two holes right here, or screws rather. You know, sometimes it's nice to have a battery door that does screw down like this because that better prevents people from stealing your batteries. So, you know, maybe you're out in the wilderness or maybe you're out at sea and and these are the only batteries you have and somebody discovers your triple A's and or double A bat wait, these are triple A batteries, I'm sorry. And actually it already has two batteries in there. Huh. Oh, but they're covered up, so they, yeah. So you would have to, you would have had to have opened this anyway because they're covered and they won't function until you uncover them. It's a little plastic wrap they were in. So let's use the ones that came with it. Again, these are just, I said triple A batteries, so that's three A's. Put these back in there since I've opened them. Whoa. And it's got a little diagram down below so you can tell the direction they need to go in. That's it's handy to have. Let's 
Uh, these are definitely screws you would not want to strip the heads out of because that would make replacing batteries very challenging. And keep in mind too, if you're taking this out in the field and, you've, and you're afraid you may go through multiple batteries, it's probably a good idea to take a little screwdriver with you because otherwise you're, you're going to have a hard time getting into the battery area. So let's turn this on here. Okay, that's, that's good, it's on. I've got my, uh, my temperature, which is 67.4 degrees Fahrenheit. And now let's, uh, so let's hold this up and I'm going to blow on it and we're going to see the wind, the wind speed rather. See? And then as you can see here, it's got, you can change between Fahrenheit and Celsius. See? And then you can do unit, kilometers per hour, feet per minute, knots, miles per hour. I measure everything in knots because I'm Captain Irix, yeah. And then right there, that's backlit. See how that lit up? So if you're using it at night, max, min, maximum, minimum, average, you can do average. So pretty robust from a feature perspective. And then to power it off, just push the power button. Very user-friendly interface in my opinion. And so you can see in the bottom left, you've got your, your battery life remaining indicator, which is completely full. And that's nice because the batteries that came with it are are completely full batteries, unused. Good build quality, you can see it here. Yeah, so if you're looking for an an anemometer that uses a very common battery type, AAA batteries, this is probably one that you would want to consider. So again, check, oh, look at that. A little Easter egg for you there. You could put it on top of a tripod. So if you're out in the field and you want to, uh, you want to mount it so you can monitor the wind speed, that's a great, uh, great feature to have. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, youtube.com forward slash irixguy. And again, check the link within this video's description and you can find where to order this anemometer online. Thanks for watching and y'all have a good day.